Most adults experience short-lived episodes of back pain at some point, but for some people, back pain doesn't disappear and becomes a chronic problem, leading to disability and job loss. The costs of this are huge. 40% of chronic back pain is due to genetic factors. Other risk factors include being overweight, coming from lower social classes, have osteoarthritis or depression. Many studies have focused on the physical causes of back pain, but a biopsychosocial model is best at explaining back pain. Professor Frances Williams and her team of scientists at King's College London conduct genetic studies to try to figure out reasons for back pain on a molecular level. In the first large genetic study, Professor Williams, along with international researchers, studied 158,025 males and females from North America and Europe. 29,531 of the participants reported chronic back pain, defined as back pain lasting for over three months. Researchers conducted a genome-wide association study, GWAS, and found that genes associated with disc degeneration in the spine were strongly associated with back pain and identified three new genes linked to chronic back pain. Interestingly, the genetic risk of conditions such as depression, obesity, and knee osteoarthritis were highly genetically correlated with back pain. Overall, the results reinforce that doctors shouldn't just focus on physical causes of chronic back pain when treating patients, but should look broadly at other factors. By focusing on the whole individual, physicians can treat back pain more effectively. This includes treating conditions such as depression, if also present.